it's your Bitcoin baby daddy here, Kenzie, with another episode of Crypto and Culture. Ah. So today we're going to be talking about the dark past of Bitcoin and Backpage and how I believe it started the last bull run. But first, I'm going to need you to like, subscribe, and share this content with everybody you know. Um... Yeah, let's just go ahead and get in the intro. What's up, y'all? It's Crypto Kenzie, man. Man, y'all already know what time it is. It's time for Crypto and Culture. Let's go. Okay, let's talk about it. So first and foremost, disclaimer, this video is not to condone or disregard the human rights trafficking allegations against Backpage. I'm going to talk about the historical relationship between Bitcoin and Backpage, that's all. Backpage was a classified advertising website which launched in 2004. It offered listings for a wide variety of products and services, including automotive, jobs, and real estate. But let's keep it real, we all know Backpage for one thing, it's adult services section, like come on. Let's just keep it real. Backpage allegedly earned approximately 99% of its revenue from sex ads. So this is where, you know, providers or escorts would pay Backpage to be listed on the website so, we, you know, you can click on the photo, get their contact info, and, you know, do what it do. You feel me? So according to a California Attorney General's office, Backpage made $346 million in annual revenue between 2013 and 2015. That's roughly about $140 million per year. So why is this number important? So with law enforcement pressuring credit card processors to end their agreements with the site, so pretty much that means like, you know, no credit cards, like no credit card businesses like MasterCard or Visa, whatever, all them payment processes are pretty much, government was like, nah, nah, bro, y'all gonna have to stop dealing money with these guys. Maybe because of, you know, the whole, um, sex trafficking and things like that. So they're just like it finally came to it. It's like nice guys We gotta go we gotta go ahead and shut this down um, And government pretty much doesn't come to you They pretty much go to like how you make money and so if they can stop your source of income That's it. They don't get they gonna come get you eventually So in July of 2015 Backpage was forced to only use Bitcoin as this form of payment because since no government actually controls Bitcoin and no one can say or stop you from using anything you want with Bitcoin. They pretty much was their only source of revenue. So um, escorts were the, uh, the only way for escorts to pay for ads would be for them to buy Bitcoin off an exchange or something, trade it in, get Bitcoin, and then pay for their ads to be posted on Backpage. So how did this actually affect the price of Bitcoin? Well, so if we look at the Bitcoin chart for July 2015, Bitcoin was in its final stages of its bear market and needed a catalyst to move forward. Now, 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 what I believe is Backpage was that catalyst. Because if we look at the chart, when Backpage was forced to actually only use Bitcoin, a spike in volume pretty much happened. And then after a couple months later back, then it kind of like died down. But once people started understanding how to use Bitcoin with Backpage, volume spiked again. Because you know it takes people a couple months, you know, it takes a couple months for people to get the word around and like, oh, how do I use this Bitcoin stuff? So it takes a couple months for people to get it and share the knowledge and for ads to be able to go back. And that 100 million yearly volume started falling in, falling, funneling, yes, funneling into Bitcoin. And so that's, and as we can see, that was pretty much the end of the bear market because if we look through the chart, it was nothing but up from then. So the volume from Backpage pretty much helped Bitcoin break, break the psychological level of 300. And from that point on, it was a wrap. Now, granted guys, this is all speculation. Of course, this is all speculation, but it's not always about what I think. It's about what you guys think too. So go ahead, leave me a comment below on if you think I'm crazy or if you think I'm right, that Backpage started the last bull market. So I'm gonna go ahead and say like, share, subscribe again, if you haven't already subscribed. Also, follow me on my Twitter and Instagram, at CryptoKinzy. I usually post like a, like a photo a day, and I'm usually on Crypto Twitter, stealing clout from people, I'm sorry. And clearly, hit the bell notification so you can stay up to date with everything in the crypto space. I've been your Bitcoin baby daddy. This has been Crypto and Culture. Check me out next time so I can serve you in my corner. Take it easy.